Oh, shit. What was I thinking? I think I did something stupid. Are you stupid or something? I'm as stupid as a stupid does. A few weeks ago, I was watching some YouTube and the vegan cyclist video about the Dirty Kanza popped up. And I'm like, hmm, what's the Dirty Kanza? So I Googled it. What is Dirty Kanza? It's an insane event where you ride 200 miles, about 190 miles on some serious gravel. And come to find out, on that particular moment when I was Googling it, it said registration was open and it's a lottery to get in. So I'm like, ah, well, okay, I'll sign up. It was like after midnight, I was up late. And so when I filled out that registration form, I wasn't 100% in my right mind. <laughs> Nothing good ever. Nothing good ever happens after 2 a.m. And if you add in like over a year of no racing, I'm kind of like getting antsy to do something. So anyway, I signed up. I got the email today that I've been accepted. Okay, so let me talk about Dirty Kansas. What I know, it's in Kansas. Did you know Kansas has the second most tornadoes in America? It's true. I don't even know where in Kansas. It's 200 miles. I think they had different options, but I signed up for the 200 mile race because why not? Oh, you crazy. Um, apparently it's really hot there, but I'm not even slightly concerned about that because, you know, I train in Las Vegas. It's harder than riding on the road, more technical. That's about all I know. <laughs> so it looks like I'm going to Dirty Kanza. Now, why is this an issue? Number one, I don't own a gravel bike. And I uh, number two, I've never even been on a gravel bike. <laughs> so, I don't know what to expect. I think I'll figure it out though. We have that N plus one situation happening here. If anybody has any recommendations for a good gravel bike, please let me know. I don't know the first thing about shopping for a gravel bike. It has to be one that I can ride for 200 miles in one day. I clearly don't think an entry level is going to be good for 200 miles, but I also don't need the top line most expensive. You're guaranteed to win a race with this bike either. So if I'm being honest, I just need a bike that can get me to the finish line comfortably without ripping my butt off. I would like to be able to walk when I finish. I know I don't have to walk easily, I just need to be able to walk. My goal is just to get to the finish line and I would like to do it before the sun goes down. I'm definitely going to need some advice from any veterans that have done this race. If any of you have done Dirty Kanza or any gravel racing or riding in general, because like I said, I don't know the first thing about it. So please share, please share your knowledge with me. I don't know, I guess that's all I pretty much have to say. This is just a really quick video. Just let you know what's going on in my world. And I should apologize for the fact that this video really doesn't have much substance to it. And, but I'm hoping the value will come in the comments because I really have no idea what I should be doing. I haven't even started researching this. So um, I guess my research will be starting as soon as I'm finished making this video. If you don't feel like leaving any advice in the comments for everyone to see, you can always DM me on Instagram or TikTok. And in case no one's ever noticed this play button back here, it's a holding spot for my 100K, so only 97,000 more to go. Thanks, vegan cyclist. I blame you for this. If you're worth such a stinking good storyteller and really make me want to do the things you do to torture yourself, I drip then I would have never decided to sign up for this race that I don't even have a bike for. But it is what it is. Yeah.